and welcome to this new video. We're now to discuss on how AI and computer vision can impact the industrial production. We'll start briefly describing what is a computer vision solution and how it's made, like software, hardware, and so on. And later we're going to see the entire industrial production and where it can be used from the beginning, from the design phase to the production of the product to the disassembly of the product. And at the end of this video, we'll also make some analysis and some conclusion on whether it's worth or not to implement a computer vision and AI solutions, what are the challenges and so on. If you're ready, let's go. If it's the first time for you here, hi, I am Sergio. I'm a computer vision consultant, developer and course instructor. At PySource, we build computer vision solutions to help companies improve their process efficiency, reliability and scalability. Now, before we get into the industry and all the steps of the, of the production, let's understand what are the requirements and hardware necessary to build a computer vision solutions for the manufacturing and production industry. So these are mainly the components. Let's see. Let's start from the first, one of the most important ones that often is not even described, and which is the lighting. Lighting. Whatever the computer vision solution needs to see needs to have a good lightning and uh, this needs to be uniform so that a good lightning also will give you a clear view of the product. And this is, this is very important because some product like in the automotive industry, for example, might have some reflection if you don't give the good lightning. If you put the light from one side instead of the other one or, or if it's too, too strong and so on, it might give some reflection which will turn into a wrong understanding of the result. So if there is no proper lighting, you might not see a defect that should be normally visible. So when there is the lightning, we connect this. So lightning is just gives us the light. Like camera is the second. So the camera is there to get a real time video frame with the oh, frames. So the camera as a purpose of taking in real time the frames of what we need in the process of the industry. Let's say if it's like inspection and you need to identify and understand if there are some, some defects on the product. So the camera will see the object and will take frames from this, which later will be sent to a hardware. Hardware. What is the hardware? The computer machine. This could be a computer. Uh, server and this is depending on the complexity of the task so if the camera uh, the camera could be some very high resolution camera that needs to understand like a lot of defects or very high precision high definition defects so we'll send uh, some heavy images that need to have a heavy computational power to the computer the camera might be a high frame rate camera to process a very fast moving objects and so on. So depending on the requirements of the industry and the camera, then also the computer needs to have enough power for that. So we start from the uh, one board computer. One of the most common in, is Jetson Nano. I'm just saying this not because it's one of the best, just for this popular, for his popularity. We might, I might do a video about Jetson Nano in the future if there is interest for this and similar devices. Anyway, uh, we have devices from starting from small board computer to computer to server solution or to the cloud if you want to have more advanced solutions that are on online servers. So computer server, what's inside this? Inside this, we will have an AI software, AI software. An AI software with computer vision in this case. AI, I will say CV, computer vision. The AI software will have some tasks, which could be inspection, for example, inspection, tracking, classification, counting, 
and so on, depending on the task that you need for the steps. We will get more in depth about that later. And then with this, there might be some action that we want to perform later. Action. What is the action that we want? So if we imagine this an automated system, the action might be some alert in real time. So if the camera sees some defects on the product, the action might be an alert that is signaling uh, some operator that's there that there is some defects on some specific product. Uh, the action might be connected to a machine, a robot machine that removes the defective object and so on. This is generally speaking all the solution that you will need. This is the structure of a computer vision solution including software and hardware. This is the structure that you need inside the industry. Now that we know in general what is how is made a computer vision solution. Let's get into the production steps from the beginning, from the design of the product to the disassembly of the product. And let's see how computer vision can impact each of them. Oh, now that we are familiar with the computer vision components used for the industrial production, let's get more in depth into the production itself, starting from the design step, which is the first one, to the latest step, which is the disassembly. We start from the design. So we have design. Design is the first step of the industrial production where either you want to create a new product or you want to create a new version of an existing product. And for the design, the computer vision is used by creating what is called a digital twin, which is the 3D representation of the product. So starting from a 2D image, it's created a 3D representation of this product, which is used instead of software to create prototyping because with the software, you can improve the design and it's much easier and faster with like the software that we have now to, to create simulations and prototyping instead of doing that with some other materials in real uh, life. So the design is the first step. So creating a digital twin is how computer vision can impact that. After this, we have the scheduling and planning. An example that we can give this is to prepare some material for the production process. Let's take an example of creating some wooden product, like a baseball bat. To create a baseball bat, we need a process wood that can be used for that. From this process wood, we have uh, digital images. So we have digital scanning images. digital uh, images for this one. And through these images, we know a lot of information about each section of the wood. So we know where there are knots, for example, or if there are ho holes inside the wood, we can know the density, the humidity, and so on. For example, in the case of the baseball bat, we want to remove the knots we want to remove the holes. So these sections will be passed through. So we have, from the image, we have the coordinates, these coordinates of each part. So let's say X and Y of this part. We have, this is the second point, third point, fourth point. We can cut this section. We can remove this section and we can remove this section. So from the scan, these coordinates will be given to a machine that will cut out this section. Then we have the production process. The production process is a crucial step uh, common in many industries where we need to start from the raw material to build the product. This is, for example, in the metal industry, metal. One example, like the, the metal, like the steel industry, steel. How can this help in the production process? One of the things and challenges that they have in this step is to track, to track the metal. It's hard to track the metal because normally in the industry you can put a label on everything that you want to track and so you can track that. But due to the very high temperature, it's not possible to track the metal with the labels. So through a computer vision system where there will be multiple cameras, depending of course on the size and the site and so on, that can follow and track everything. Another thing that we can consider for this one, some 
segmentation, some advanced segmentation technique, you can identify even molecules. So we're talking about the chemical part, the material where through this you can make some research and some new discoveries. So this is also used. After this, we have one of the most common and I believe important, which is inspection. And inspection is one of the most common for computer vision, one of the most used and you probably saw already a lot of examples also online if you look for computer vision and manufacturing. The inspection is the inspection of the product where you can check quality, quality, you can also classification of the product, classification, so the quality and we can also put them, put them in the same line, quality and classification. So you can classify the product based on certain quality. If it's, for example, from vegetables, you can classify them with a very low quality to send to a certain market, a higher quality to send to another market. market. So we're talking about quality and classification here. You can identify defects, defects on every product, uh, any type of defects, whether it's a uh, missing part of the product, color, color defects, scratches, scratches, uh, defects regarding also shape, wrong size, any defect that you can name, we can identify. So this is most of the quality inspection and computer vision is very popular for this. We have so many so many techniques from the classification to measuring the sizes to, to segmentation and so on. After this, we have the assembly step. Assembly. For the assembly, you can make some automatic or semi-automatic assembly, depending, of course, on the component and on how it's possible to automate it. One of the com most common is the circuit board where after the soldering you can see if the soldering was done correctly, if there are missing components inside the board and so on. So this is some operation that is completely automated by the industries right now and computer vision is used to identify all these aspects. And this, with this we cover most of the computer vision, of, of the computer vision, the manufacturing industry. Let's also add a few more aspects after we have the product and everything there is also transportation 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 so this could be by tracking the movements of the vehicles inside the site or anything that regarding that can improve the transportation inside the site to the of course the most advanced and we will see more of this in the future where there will be the vehicles driving it itself so we can we can see in the future also the transportation being more and more autonomous also on this side with autonomous vehicles and finally the disassembly and this assembly this assembly this assembly of the components this it's let's say semi-automatic where computer vision can help partially to, to split some of the components to select. So if we have if we're the assembly of like parts of cars and so on, if there is some product, everything passing in the conveyor belt, or the computer vision system can see the material of the product and can put them in separate compartments. So the computer vision can help also this through the help of a robot. So the the system identifies and the robots will take some action. Uh, now that we know that computer vision can be used in almost every step of the production industry, is it worth for every company to have computer vision implemented? And, and also I want to say, is it computer vision always reliable? Regarding the reliability, there are no doubts when the software is properly created and there is the right data, then computer vision is definitely reliable and it's close to 100% accuracy and it's definitely worth to implement it. Regarding if it works, if it's fine for every company, well, that depends. Every company needs to 
evaluate for this solution to the benefits that it will get because the implementing a computer vision solution can have a high entry cost which if there is a big company medium big company with a lot of production then over time of course this can be ROI positive but for a small company and also this depends on the complexity if there is a small company and the system needs to be very complicated then it's not convenient if you want to know if you want to implement some computer vision solution for your company you can check at by source the solutions that we offer and if you are just a developer and you want to learn more about computer vision in general we also have courses for that there is a course called object detection with OpenCV and deep learning all the links will be down below in the description i hope this video was very clear and informative for you uh, if you have any questions put a comment down below and this is all for now see you in the next video